You might not think a story about a bunch of terrifying animatronic pizza joint robots who routinely kill children would make for a hot ticket movie. But Five Nights at Freddy's is finally getting a hotly anticipated theatrical release on October 27. The movie, a product of Universal and Blumhouse, seems to be a faithful, fanservice heavy adaptation of the hit video game franchise, which became an immediate hit when it was released in 2014. Over time, its popularity grew, a relatively rare indie game penetrating mainstream culture. The game is known for its abundance of classic nostalgic horror elements, scary empty buildings with a maze of corridors, creepy children's toys that seem fun during the daytime but turn malevolent at night, and jump scares, lots and lots of jump scares. The titular Freddy is a giant animatronic teddy bear that wants, along with all of his fun animal friends, to murder you, and he could be waiting around any corner. If all that sounds like a fairly straightforward pastiche of classic horror movies, you're not wrong. That's also why it's surprising that it took this long to adapt Five Nights at Freddy's for cinema. It already has all of the components of a horror movie built into its setting and structure. Yet Freddy's, colloquially styled FNAF, pronounced, FNAF, is more than just a fun horror game. The franchise had a huge impact on gaming fandom and YouTube culture, and epitomized the now ubiquitous popularity of games that keep their audiences guessing, not just about what's going to happen, but about what it all means. The game's ability to world-build while taking you through a standard horror scenario only grew over the years, through a staggering eight main games including one in virtual reality, five spin-off games, dozens of books and graphic novels, and now the movie. All of this means that now, nearly 10 years out from FNAF's debut, its so-called lore is incredibly deep. The story about a bunch of giant scary robot animals is also, according to many of its fans, a giant, bottomless, murderous puzzle box. Let's go exploring. FNAF is about a scary pizzeria stuffed with animatronic animals that are trying to kill you this entire saga as the brainchild of Scott Cawthon, a veteran Christian game developer who said in a 2014 interview that he got the idea for FNAF after one of his previous games garnered negative reviews. P. Eeple said the main character looked like a scary animatronic. At some point, much like the villain of FNAF, Cawthon, snapped, and decided to show the world just how scary he could be. The fascinating element of this backstory, however, is that in the interview where he reveals his Christian faith, he talks of speaking to and being guided by God to direct his life, much as fans of his games are guided by the signs and clues he includes in the design to interpret the story therein.